Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a very quick FNAF News video. You see, I was just wrapping up editing for a fully-fledged FNAF News video to go up today, but then we got this bombshell of an announcement. An announcement that I felt like we were all kind of expecting at some point, but now that it's actually here, it is very sad. So to hop right into it, the title, the thumbnail is not clickbait, it's not a lie. Illumix has officially announced the shutdown of FNAF AR special delivery. And just throwing that news into a regular FNAF news video felt like doing the announcement and unfortunate news a disservice, so that's why we're here talking about it in its own separate video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about their announcement of the closure of the game, as well as dates of when you can expect the game to stop functioning, as well as the final event plan for the game, which is set to launch, I'm pretty sure, later today. Now, the reason why I say we were all kind of expecting this announcement is because the game hasn't properly been updated since December of 2021. That's when new character Funtime Freddy and Bon Bon were introduced, that's also when the Dark Circus Encore DLC got released, and since then the game has just been running on blast from the past events, recycling already released skins, and even in September of 2022 I made this video called Illumix Left FNAF AR for this, and as you can see in that video we went over the brand new Twitter account as well as website that Illumix made, because they were ultimately moving on to bigger and better things in the AR e-commerce scene. Also, in the middle of last year, Illumix's website updated to include brand new GIFs and videos, and in these brand new promotional materials, we got new looks at Baby, a brand new look at Ballora attacking the player, and also Shadow Bonnie. These brand new videos led people to assume that FNAF AR was going to make a comeback in 2023. But ultimately, nothing came of that, and that pretty much leads us to today. Where, as you can see by some tweets by Technical FNAF, a new image has been spotted on the FNAF AR website. This is an expanded key art of all the characters and skins updated to include Great Escape Golden Freddy, new master data was added called Final Delivery and Goodbye, pretty much making it very clear this is the end of FNAF AR. And then people started to notice there's something going on with our accounts, we're getting a whole bunch of Faz coins, even the DLC has gotten a reduced price. And then finally, a pop-up appeared in-game saying we're making our last special delivery on March the 14th of 2024. Enjoy these final rewards and discounts expressing our thanks for your love and support over the years. And that finally takes us to Illumix's official post regarding the closure of FNAF AR, a very special delivery, and thank you to all. It's a very lengthy post, but we will be going over the full thing, so sit back, relax, or... If you're a big FNAF AR fan, you're probably panicking right now. But this is what Illumix has to say regarding the closure of the game. Hello all, this post is one we make with both full and heavy hearts after much consideration. Our team knows that it has been quite some time since we've posted, and we wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you, bring you all up to speed on FNAF AR as it draws to a close, and to also say goodbye for the time being. Details to note, we'll be keeping the game online for the next six weeks for folks to enjoy, but we will be sunsetting FNAF AR. After tomorrow, February 2nd, 2024, FNAF AR Special Delivery will no longer be available to download on the Apple or Google Play app stores. So if you currently do not own FNAF AR on your mobile device and you want to give it a shot for the last final few weeks, definitely get it as soon as you can because tomorrow, you're not going to be able to get it. We have massively increased rewards to allow you to experience everything you can in the final weeks before the server shut down. We've also reduced prices, converted the Dark Circus DLC to a Fazcoin purchase. Instead, it was originally $13. So they've converted it to Fazcoin purchase instead of actual money. And given access to every lure we've ever released so that you can invite all your favorites over to play it till the very end. And as we just went over, on March the 14th, 2024, the game servers will be shut down and FNAF AR will officially go on offline. It's been fun, fun, fun. It has been such an unbelievably wild ride with this passionate, clever, and fun community. We've never been a huge studio, but we've always been huge fans of FNAF and of course, all of you. Having the opportunity to create special delivery really has been a wonderful experience for our team. Being able to combine our know-how and passion for augmented reality with our love for FNAF has simply been an incredible adventure. FNAF AR has gone on a journey that we could have never predicted when we first launched the game. Special delivery brought us many moments to treasure from our tricky first post on this very subreddit to the game's launch to people throwing their phones away in fear of charging animatronics. We've been assured that no phones were harmed in this process to it becoming Apple's game of the day to millions of animatronic battles and so, so much more. But what we've always had the most fun doing is trying to figure out how to delight you all. We love creating puzzles and clues ahead of each new release for this community, and it was always exciting to see how you all would react to each update. It's been a privilege to craft AR experience 
experiences around each and every animatronic in FNAF AR, and we've enjoyed being able to bring them to life in so many ways with all the skins and events. That we've dreamed up over these years, letting us deliver these animatronics to you has been special indeed. Special shout outs, we wanted to make sure to give a great big thank you to those folks who made a special delivery what it is. First, an enormous and infinite thank you to Scott for creating this incredible world of FNAF and for partnering with us on FNAF AR to make a game that has been truly groundbreaking in so many ways. A huge thank you to the mods past and present of this subreddit for making this community a great place to be. We can express just how grateful we are for the time you all take to ensure that this subreddit continues to be excellent. We know it's a labor of love. FNAF content creators, you have never stopped inspiring with all that you make and we deeply admire your energy and imagination. And of course, once again, we need to give the biggest thank you to those who took the time to play our game, to this community and the wider FNAF fan base at large. We hope you brought you moments of delight with special delivery. It's goodbye for now, but we hope to create something for you all again in the future. The fun, fun, fun never stops and neither does this fan base. While this is a sad day for us, we're beyond excited for all the things happening in the wider world of FNAF. As always, much love from our team here at Illumix. And as you can see, Scott did reply to the post saying special delivery will always hold a special place in my heart. It was really unique and has some of my favorite character art in the whole series. So just as a little note for the team at Illumix, you were all a pleasure to work with and I wish you all the very best for whatever the future brings. You've got a very talented team. Thank you for investing that time and talent into FNAF. So that is Illumix's final post regarding FNAF AR and its final few weeks as a game. It's interesting timing actually because for the past few months I've been meaning to revisit FNAF AR for a video. I've got the thumbnail already made for the longest time, but for some reason my Elgato isn't hooking up with my phone. I think probably some new iOS update won't allow it. But definitely, I'll be making a few more videos on FNAF AR to celebrate its final few weeks. I know me and this channel have had a rocky relationship with FNAF AR and Lumix, but at the end of the day, I loved it. It was a very, very fun FNAF game. It's something I could always look forward to each week when they release skins weekly. And even if it didn't seem like it back then, I really did have a lot of fun playing FNAF AR. I've critiqued Illumix in the past, their marketing strategy and their, you know, technical business strategy with FNAF AR. And while this post definitely doesn't negate any of those criticisms, I of course still do wish the best for the team at Illumix for, again, whatever the future brings. They are a very, very talented team. If you've seen some of the other AR, you know, technology they've made it's insane it really really is so i really do hope in the future i'm able to see news headlines that feature illumix's name with the ar technology that they bring into the world because again they can do incredible incredible stuff so while fnaf ar was definitely a very rocky project especially in these last couple years hopefully it's only the beginning for illumix as a company but really that's gonna do it for this fnaf news video this topic in particular i'd really love to know your thoughts in the comments down below especially those of you who are still active in the fnaf ar community please enjoy your final few weeks of FNAF AR because once again March 14th that is the official shutdown day of the game and definitely expect a few videos of me hopping back into the game before it gets shut down so that's gonna do it for this video thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side goodbye